everyone. Um, happy Wednesday. I am here. I just poured myself a glass of red wine. Um, Cab is my favorite. And it is cold and rainy here um, in Raleigh, North Carolina. And um, I am just so happy to be cozy enough with a red glass of wine. Hopefully it will bring me some comfort. I'm sure if you're tuning in up north, I know there's snow, um, sleet, disgusting weather, and what better time than now to sit back, pour yourself something fun to drink, and let's talk about vacations and honeymoons. So um, let me just have a sip to start this because it's been quite a week and it's only Wednesday. So I'm not sure if anyone else out there is feeling that way, but I certainly am. So a little bit about me, if you didn't tune in to the first um, episode, which was last week, um, I just kind of jumped on and did a quick overview on why I started this group, because I am in other bridal groups and other Facebook groups. And in those groups, it is very apparent that a lot of brides are so overwhelmed when it comes to planning their honeymoon because you know you have your aunts and uncles and all of your friends and all of your family members giving their two cents because they have traveled the world and they want to tell you where to go. So it is really a personal Thing where you want to travel. And when I sit down with my clients and a good travel agent will sit down with you and learn about you, your likes and dislikes, like, do you even care about wine? Are you more of a foodie? Would you ever eat street food like a fried grasshopper in Thailand? Like, these are the things that I need to know. So I can help plan your honeymoon and the experience that you want the best. So that's kind of why I'm all about and that's why I decided to do these live videos um, just to kind of get myself out there, meet more brides, and who doesn't want to do it from the comfort of your couch or home or cell phone, wherever you are. And um, it's always fun to kind of drink with others and <laughs> sit back and have a glass midweek. Um, so this week, I am going to be discussing how to plan the honeymoon of your dreams. And brides, grooms out there, you know you want to have an amazing honeymoon. I mean, planning that wedding is so stressful and takes so much time and effort. It like just derails everything. You just kind of like you're having this huge life change happening and you really need to sit down and relax afterwards and what better way than to be sitting relaxing somewhere or exploring a new country or you know I think everyone maybe wants culture but they also just want to sit back and relax so no matter where you go we want to try to make that happen um, so I really have three easy tips to help you plan and dream honeymoon. So the first thing, and this is kind of where these are for my brides who are getting married late 2019, 2020, who maybe just got engaged and want to go ahead and start planning. So the first thing, and this is for the beginning planner that you just started thinking about it, you definitely want to start discussing dates. No one says there's no rule saying that the day after you get married, you have to go away on your honeymoon. What's been really popular lately is waiting 60 days, waiting a year to go on their honeymoon. So that's totally normal. Some people just want like three weeks. So whatever it is, you really want to think about dates. Um, so sit down and have the conversation with your fiance. Talk about, think about work and how you could, you know, if you're already taking off for the wedding, do you need a little break to check back in and then go? That's an option. Spreading it out because financially, maybe you need the money from what you're going to get in gifts from the wedding. You want to put that towards the honeymoon. I just met with a bride. We're working on a Greece trip and she wants to do a honeymoon registry with me, which is also something I offer my brides. So um, she, for that to work, the 
for her, we're going to push it out 60 days after her wedding date. So that's when she's going to go on our honeymoon. So it really just depends. But the reason why I bring that up is because it's really important to know the dates, to know when it's the best time to travel. So for example, you don't want to go to Costa Rica and jump into rainy season, um, or you don't want to go to Iceland in the middle of the winter when you are going to be like so, so cold. So um, it's really important to think about that, especially if you're going across the globe during our winter, I mean, during our summer would be their winter, like your Australia or Africa. So just think about your dates. So it's dates for you personally, but those dates are really important because you also have to think about the location. Not every time of year is the best for every destination. And if you want to go ahead and comment below um, and join my email list, I do send a lot of information out about timelines and when's the best date to go with certain destinations. So I definitely recommend doing the date thing first um, because also you're not going to be able to get any pricing on anything out there without your dates. You really can't start until you have your dates. Are you going away for two weeks? Are you going away for four nights? So you really got to think about that. So that's the first step on planning your dream honeymoon is narrowing down those dates. The second tip I have is um, making sure that you start talking about the destination you want to go to. So, um, you know, think about where talk about too, where you guys have traveled together, where you guys have traveled independently, those kind of things. If your fiance has never been out of the country and you, you know, your parents maybe traveled with you when you were younger, there's going to be, you're going to have to find a happy medium. So, um, you know, you kind of want to just talk about um, your past destinations that you've been to. Maybe you guys have been together for a while and you've traveled together before. So you could kind of discuss where you've been um, and what you liked about those vacations. So I know that my husband, when we were newly engaged, we went to Puerto Rico and we had so much fun and everyone's like you guys are beaming are you on your honeymoon and we were like no this is our like pre-honeymoon which is totally a thing by the way i have planned pre-honeymoons before which i love and it was so that trip was so fun and exciting but it also got our feet wet on what we really wanted out of our honeymoon and we loved exploring and renting mopeds and scooters around and then we did that on our honeymoon but um so it's kind of fun to to dabble into traveling if you have the time to do it while you're engaged um to take a break from the wedding planning and do a short getaway and, and see how you guys like it so i definitely re recommend my number two tip would be uh talk about your destinations and if you can go on a pre-honeymoon or pre-destination ish together and see how you guys travel together what you like about each other traveling and what you don't like if one is totally crazed and anxiety ridden maybe you shouldn't go on like a three-week european vacation because it just might be stressful um or you might love laying on the beach but your fiance is going to dr go crazy laying on a chair for you know, three days at a time or seven days. So um, one of my jobs too is to kind of help you guys decide. So it's not like you need to have know your destination right off the bat. Usually people come to me with two or three options that have really excited them. I've had people that have been like all over the map and they have no idea where to go. So it's nothing to stress about. So just keep it in mind that it's something, you know, destination you got to pick somewhere you can't honeymoon everywhere um so i think your end game is going to be one destination so definitely start talking about it and my sub tip would be go on a pre honeymoon um i think that's a super fun idea i loved mine um actually i think i have a picture of it somewhere um back here um but we did this by luminescent bay in Puerto Rico and it was so awesome. 
we can't like kayaked on this river in the pitch darkness and i'm afraid of dark waters i'm totally fine with clear waters but dark waters i cannot deal so when um we did that i was like so scared but it was so fun and such an amazing experience and of course they tell you like don't jump out of the boat and my fiance he jumped out of the boat and it was so cool because his whole body lit up something about the algae in that water in this bay that it completely glowed his whole body so it was really awesome i did not get in that water but it was a really fun experience and super cool so um you know the whole point of going on your honeymoon anyway is to make amazing moments last um because life is going to get hard we don't no one ever gets a free pass at some point you're going to have to deal with something crappy and making this happy moment so special is going to help you through the crap that is probably going to end up happening at one point or another. So it's a reason why I really value going on a honeymoon and value so much bringing in exciting, happy moments and making them the best that they can be. Whatever budget comes my way and whatever, you know, people come my way and really try to make that happen. So my last tip, because I told you I'm going to do this quick in three easy tips, my last tip would be to hire a travel agent, to outsource this off your plate, because planning a trip, I think it's something like people spend 200 hours on Google planning a vacation before they actually commit to something, which is insane. I mean, who has extra 200 hours to themselves when planning a wedding. I mean, any bride and groom is busy. You have a never ending to-do list on top of talking with your bridal parties and talking to your parents and finding all those vendors. And then you like have a normal life too. You have a job, you have maybe you're living together. I mean, there's so much going on. It's like the one time you need to outsource it. So a little bit and the whole thing is that i don't charge anything for you you are free to use me and book your trip with me um so it's kind of a win-win but ge talking just generally about travel agents i really really see the value in using them i wouldn't do something that i wasn't passionate about and didn't know that makes it a win-win now i am not the right travel agent for every single person out there and that's why i'm doing these videos to see if brides and grooms relate to me want to work with me and then that's a whole nother story and video in itself but this is really just to educate brides out there saying that use your resources go local and find a travel agent find someone that's willing to do a zoom call or a video call i meet with my brides and grooms like this all the time privately obviously or um face to face so whatever it is get your referrals do your homework go to wedding wire or the knot google you know there's so many ways go into a bridal group stay in this honeymoon group for a little bit and um it's really just a great um, resource a travel agent they're going to cut down that research time way down and i'm not saying i take out any research because of course you want to make sure you know where you want to go and and fact check it online or whatever look at some pictures get on youtube look at some videos get excited but i'm nearly here at a travel agents to logistically work out the nightmares save you so much time and money because i usually do my, you know, I give you a short list of, of an itinerary and then you go and figure out, sit down and talk and be like, is this something we really want to do? Now, a, a good travel agent, and again, you got to do your research and homework, but a good travel agent's really going to sit down with you, get to know you, learn about your likes and dislikes, not just check out a quote. Um, I personally do everything customized. So I want to try to get as much information as possible. I'd love to do a video call just to meet my brides and grooms um, face to face. And then, um, you know, we could talk about the process a little bit. Um, it is a little different for every person because I do everything customized. Some itineraries take a lot of effort and time um, and some are a little more simpler. So we kind of discuss how that looks and what that is like. But the first way to start with an agent is obviously reach out to them. Do a little fact checking by getting um, names from friends and family. 
looking at reviews, talking to other wedding vendors to see if you, you know, know them um, and what they have to say. And then um, the first step would just be to reach out, email or call them and set up, set up a consultation. I believe that every travel agent should go out there and give a a free consultation because I don't work with anyone either. I want to make sure that I mesh with the person that we're on the same wavelength and that's the best partnership. So um, my just a quick review on how to plan your dream honeymoon in three quick steps. Number one would need, need to narrow down your dates, figure out when you want to go because then that's going to work affect your destination. Then talk about your destination, and if you do have time, go ahead and go on a pre-honeymoon, figure out what you guys like and don't like, and believe me, no one needs another excuse. You know you're going to need a quick getaway while you're planning this wedding. And then the last thing would be to use a travel agent. You want to make sure you research them, check reviews, and then have a consultation and see if you guys really do click, and then you could go ahead and start the process from there. So thank you so much for tuning in and joining. I hope that you had a delicious glass of something tonight with me. I'm not only drinking here by myself. I mean, my husband's in the other room and he's having the same glass of wine, but um, cheers. I hope you have a great rest of your work week. And if you were just brutally cold or snowed in, seriously contact me because we need to get you planned on something and start dreaming about a warm, sunny destination. All right, guys, have a great night and we'll see you next week. Bye.